My name's Drew Heath. I'm an architect in my mid-30s. I got into this career at an early age and it probably started with uh, a box of Legos. Perhaps I was an architect in the making at 10 and uh, progressed on to uh, studying architecture at the University of Tasmania. As soon as I graduated, I moved from, uh, from Hobart to Sydney because I just wanted to go to the, to the biggest city in Australia uh, to, to experience you know, the most that Australia had to offer and to be, become part of, you know, sort of creating Australian culture from the centre. Well, today we're doing some concreting, which is always good fun. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, a, a massive material that turns up in a liquid form and quickly becomes solid. So, in a sense, you can, uh, you need to be prepared and uh, things can often or easily go wrong. I try to make everything handmade and handcrafted so that you can see that uh, it's been made by a person and made by someone thinking about it, made by someone who cares or people that care because it's, it's not just me. <laughs> there are in fact other people that I work with and I couldn't work without them, you know. In a way I direct them and they do the work. I could build it all myself but it wouldn't be as good. So you need, you need, you know, you need a team around you. I've got a graduate architect who graduated last year, uh, two apprentices, some people who are in fact architects that are involved in building. You know, in the last five years I've had various people who have been at uni uh, often come out onto site uh, and just work on site just to see what it's like. So there's been a couple of those over the years and the graduate who works for me has been working for me for three or four years, so he started when he was in third year and you know I'm mentoring him as we go through. I, I think you actually do have to volunteer because you know there is some effort required to uh, you know to actually have people on site or, or within an office and so I think there's nothing wrong with you know just hounding people to want to volunteer to do things with them. On the waterfront here is a good place to work, but uh, over the last couple of years I've built a house at Wallumby, up in the bush, one at Gloucester, and I've got another one going on the north coast at the moment. I'm a very harsh critic of my own work, so there are a couple of buildings where I like one little part of it. Uh, and, and there are sometimes you get it right, and there's one image or view that is perfect. And so I've done a couple of those, and I think you, you, you just want to increase the number of perfect visions you do on each building as you travel through your career. I won a couple of little awards. I'm only really just starting to, in fact, enter buildings into competitions because I've, I've had a bit of a motto, if I can't win it, I won't enter. So uh, I'm still, still waiting for, for a building that I would be happy to enter in a competition. But I'm, I'm, I'm in it and I'm winning it anyway. <laughs> I love being an architect in Australia because I like the idea of Australia developing as a place. Australia is one of the best places really to do any form of career. Well, I, I think if you wanted to be an architect, you'd want to have some interest in the arts, you know, so you really need to like the idea of arts and culture because really architecture is supposed to express elements of that, but in a built form. I think my best skill as an architect is observation. Every, everything I see, I study in detail, its form and its shape. So I, I think you've got to be a good observer. And if you're observant uh, of visual things, then I think you're halfway there. I'm quite happy with what I'm doing now. And my career just takes one little step at a time. I'm not a commercial, you know, a large commercial architect. I think I, I prefer the private, you know, the, the, the intimate detail of the, of the private house or the small project. Because, you know, I like to control everything. I'm the architect and the builder, so uh, it gives me a lot more control. Well, I love what I do. You know, I, I couldn't do anything else, so, you know, I'm, I'm deeply entrenched in being an architect, you know, for life. When I first started, you know, I started university at 17, and so I was going to be an architect by, you know, 23 or 24, but now I find that, you know, perhaps I'll be an architect by the time I'm 40, because the process will, will take that long when you realise how much is in a career rather than uh, something that you study at uni. It's a lifetime. Architecture is very much a, a lifetime career. Can we do a better bridge than that? Um, well, one day we might find out. <laughs>